Here we have two AC outlets and four USB chargers plus an uh, input 15 uh, volts input and two 12 volt output. Uh, and the good rule of thumb is that if you have USB DC output, always use that um, instead of plugging your um, power adapter through the AC port because that that could be very inefficient. Uh, let's see. Power it on. Press it. Press the belt button for like three seconds. Now it's on. I have about fifty percent power. iPad's charging right now. Let's plug in more devices. Uh, this one takes type C. I like to use very short cables to ke keep everything uh, very uh, organized. And I have a USB type of um, AA and AAA uh, battery charger. And, and of course, if I can use USB charger, I can I should avoid do this, right? Because this is like maybe 80% efficient at the most. Um, but of course, let's test it. See how the AC power goes. Of course, that, that will be our major, major use when we are in the wild. I have powered it on. Oh, the fan started spinning for a second. Um, switch back to volts. As you can see, we have 109.2 volts. That's about 110. Um, all right, volts. Let's, volts. Let's switch to voltage. Volts, power usage, and plug in um, my Type-C RAV power charger and do this one on my MacBook Pro. Let's keep an eye on the voltage, uh, the volt, volts output. Now it's 37, uh, 32 kind of fluctuates um yeah uh, i have one more device to plug in to charge it's my another backup phone as you can see i am powering four usb charging devices at the same time and and it's 60 volts i do not of course it's it's not we never gonna um be more than the rated 300 watts um, power output from this device. Otherwise, the fuse would blow, and you have to go back and uh, to the back of the unit and swap with the with the backup fuse. Um, yeah, just watch out for your uh, total power consumption. And not if you're not sure if you guys can see, but the it is charging with the full, uh, at the full speed of 61 watts. And my battery is charging right now. Uh, takes about two hours and 24% right now. And that's my YouTube channel, by the way. Yep. And Let's put it aside and take a look at the fuse. So this is where the fuse are located. Two backup and two uh, the real stuff. Um, yeah. So at least we have a backup if you accidentally plug in something really powerful like a microwave. Now, obviously, it's not going to work. Uh, it is very quiet right now. It has a very uh, low bu buzzing sound. 
very, very low sound, barely noticeable. Um, I think the fan would kick in if um, the temperature gets high. And it is actually running very cool right now. Uh, this is all aluminum or other sort of light metal, I think. Uh, feels very cold. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy this unit. Um, I even have a 100 watts a solar panel that could uh, potentially plug in here and charge it off the grid. Um, and according to the user's manual, this thing also does pass-through charging, which means I can charge the unit while charge my other devices at the same time, um, which is a great functionality, I think, because if I hook up my, my solar panel, I can use it as a buffer to, you know, when there is a um, cloud overcast or a shadow, or a cloudy day, I can still trickle charge the battery while it's pr providing power to my all my electronics. Um, yeah, and you can you can see the uh, watts reading is around still around sixty one watts. Very nice. It's already 28% red right now after about three minutes. It's working really good. Um, one thing I think I would like to improve as a advice for the manufacturer is that um, put a LCD display here instead of just a very simple light here um, to show the um, power output as well as the power input because if I want to charge it with solar port then it will I would be very glad to know the um, the power input watts uh, from the solar panel to see if I'm charging it efficiently right and it is worth mentioning the handle is all metal uh, seems to be very well built and it's, gonna, it's not gonna break any anytime soon. Uh, I think it will stand, stand up with the lots of abuse from, from outdoor use. I just bought a cable MC to the, um, the round adapter on Amazon. And this goes in here and this one can hook up with my solar panel 100 watts let's see if this works should be charging yes and it is charging right now as you can see now I have tucked everything nicely under the solar panel um and it is charging nicely if it rains today uh it will be shielded from the rain um like i said before i really wish ideally you know there could be a charging um power indicator uh, that tells me a, a little screen that tells me uh, how how many watts it's taking in or at least a uh, power intensity indicator uh, when charging through solar mm, otherwise I really there's no way to tell uh, how well it is taking the Sun you know and it is not sunny today it's overcasting but thanks to this big 100 watts uh, panel I think it may be charging at a rate of like 10 to 20 watts uh, this power this panel is rated 100 watts um, let's see how, how it goes today